In an ideal state and understanding, it is what the Lord has told us, I am love and the path and truth. This is the Lord. But this feeling is born, is formed, is strengthened and constantly grows under His guidance from childhood. Sometimes we replace this with relationships between a man and a woman in the beginning, when we show interest in this. Real love is manifested when we are ready to sacrifice, when for the sake of something that we see in a person, we are ready to follow that person and to leave something that is ours behind. Love cannot be measured by some relationship. Love is a bottomless pit which engulfs everything because we live with the love of God, which comes to us from the cross when Christ has suffered for our sins and loves us. This is true love. It is an example of love which we need to follow. But for a person in the beginning and even later, it is hard to embrace this idea. Family is where the initial seeds of this are planted. Family is where children see an example of relations between a man and a woman, between parents. Family is where they need to see an example of chastity, piety, kindness, beauty, joy, and everything that is real. We are all God's children, and the Lord gives children to a family so that parents could raise them. Parents and godparents are responsible for the upbringing of their children through their own example, through their actions, through their way of life that they lead. In the Gospel according to Luke, we hear when the Lord visited the home of a Pharisee and ate there, a woman walked in and poured oil, wiped his feet with her hair and cried, and she was a true sinner. The Pharisee said that if the Lord knew who she was, he would not allow her to do what she did. And Christ told a parable about two sinners who were forgiven. He said that the person who was forgiven more was able to love more. The condition in which the woman was in when she was crying, what could we say? What kind of state was she in? The initial state that is felt here, both externally and internally, is on a spiritual level, and the physical is secondary. Only later does a person simplify certain things. And when a person sins and commits the sin of adultery, one can mask the sin under a false pretense of beauty and call that love. We need to understand that the relationship of a man and a woman is given by God, that God has given His blessing for people to be fruitful and multiply. But how? This is how a human was created by God. We also need to understand who are men and women. In the first chapter of the Bible, it is said that the Lord created a man and a woman, and why in marriage two become one flesh, and why a woman is saved through giving birth and raising children, and a man works and provides for his family. God has given fullness in family. A woman does her part and a man does his, and together they are able to overcome certain difficulties. Here you cannot say that chastity is lost. It all depends on the person's approach to life, what the person wants, what a person loves, and how a person wants to love. It all depends on what choice a person makes.